In this lesson, I'll show you how to manually create a pie chart, and we'll be doing this by answering a question. The question reads, the cost of producing a piece of luggage at ACME Luggage Company are labor, which is $45, materials, $40, overhead, $35. So before I can start showing you how to create a pie chart, let's answer some of these questions together. Starting with A, what is the total cost of producing a piece of luggage? Of course, for this, all we do is add up all of these numbers together. So I'll write down 45 plus 40 plus 35. If you use your calculator or do this in your head, you should end up with $120 is the total cost of making one piece of luggage. What percent of the total cost is attributed to materials only? When it comes to percent, we'll take the cost of the materials, which is 40. So I'll write down $40 and divide it by the total cost, 120. Subsequently, whatever answer we get, we multiply it by 100% and we will round to two decimal places. So using our calculator, 40 divided by 120, that gives us a third. And I'll multiply this now by 100 and your calculator should give you 33.3 repeating. To two numbers after the decimal place is 33.33. .33. And if you want to be exact, you can write down 33 and a third percent. Next, compute the number of degrees for labor, materials, and overhead needed for a circle graph, round to the nearest whole degree. This information is important because it actually leads to our pie chart. We'll start with labor. I'll write down C, labor. We were told in the question that labor is $45. So I'll take 45 divided by 120 and multiply it by 360, because that's how many degrees are in one circle. I'll do the same thing for materials and overhead. So for materials, I'll take 40 divided by 120, then multiply that by 360. And for overhead, it's 35 divided by 120 times 360. Let's use our calculator for all of these. 45 divided by 120 times 360 gives us 135. 135 total degrees represents labor. Now, 40 divided by 120 times 360, that gives us 120 degrees. And lastly, 35 divided by 120 times 360, that gives us 105 degrees. Now, if you're lucky, your teacher might give you a blank circle like this with ticks all throughout. To do this accurately, what I like to do is divide this circle into four quadrants. Here's what I mean. So something that looks like this. Now I have an idea of where 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360 are. So this is 0, that's 90 degrees, that's 180, 270, and so on. Starting with labor, it's 135. That being said, starting from over here, it will surpass 90. And notice that this is separated into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine equal intervals. What you can do from here is take 90, divide it by 9, and this tells us that each of these is 10. So this is 100, this is 110, 120, 130, and 135 should be right here. So connect the center of the circle to this point. And everything, watch me erase this line, everything from 0 to that point represents labor and you can fill that in with any color. Next, we have 120. So this was 135. 135 plus 120 will tell us where to end for materials. We should end at 255. So now we have to find out where 255 is. Remember, that's 270, that's 260, 250, and we need to end at 155. So our next portion should be from here to here. And I'll erase this line. So I'll write down that this 
represents material. Since we only have overhead left, the rest represents overhead. So notice that I'm erasing that final line that I drew initially. This is overhead. And there you have it. That is how to manually create a pie chart given any piece of information.